What is up everyone and welcome back to Denver Broncos Franchise. Finally, Season 2 is here. And I am so excited. We're going against the Kansas City Chiefs. We're at home. I think this is a winnable game and I'll show you exactly why. So for starters, their offensive line is awful. Eric Fisher is not good. Cameron Irving is not good. Mason Cole is not good. And I guess Laurent... Dunervay, Duvernay, Tardif is okay. But he's still not great. Mitchell Schwartz is good. I think he's a really good pass blocker. Yeah. But four out of five positions on the offensive line are very bad. Alex Okafor at left end is not very good. Chris Jones is injured at defensive tackle, so we won't have to worry about him. Derek Nottie is pretty good. I like him. He's a good, potentially, um, a very good player. And then their first round pick, Emmanuel Starks. So they'll still get some playing time. At right end, Frank Clark will play. He's pretty good. But then Damian Wilson's not good at linebacker. Darren Lee is pretty good. I like Darren Lee. He's not good in coverage, but he's really fast and a good tackler. Anthony Hitchens isn't very good anymore. They have no cornerback over 70 overall. No coverage grade over 74. Juan Thornhill. Juan? Juan? I don't know. He's a pretty good free safety, but he's not the greatest. And then Tyron Matthew is a good, strong safety. Um, maybe not the best tackler, but he's pretty good as well. So I think we can definitely exploit this linebacking core and these cornerbacks. But of course you have best quarterback in the league, Patrick Mahomes. So we're going to have to try to defend him. Let's get into this game. So the season starts here. London George on the return at the goal line. 22-23 yard line. Whew. Why are you mad, John Fox or Vic Fangio? So the rookie up the middle. I want to establish a running game this year. Almost intercepted by Tyran Matthew. That was a good throw. Um... It's just Tyree Matthew is almost honestly an elite center field safety. I feel like he can play anywhere in the in the incomplete. I think he can play anywhere in the secondary. So that's going to be unfortunately a punt for us who had the best punter in the league with the most punts in the league. This is not a good one. I can already tell you that actually. No, probably like the 20 yard line. 17 so inside the 20 and we'll see Patrick Mahomes 98 overall he's gonna get a massive contract at the end of this year first pass goes for negative two yards to Damian Williams and there's a fly on the screen there we go I think I want to play a more man this year I think this team doesn't Maybe specialize in man, but they have better man than zone corners. As Quincy Wilson just gets destroyed by Emmanuel Sanders. And we have good cover safeties as well. So I think this team is better than last year. The secondary, I think, regressed a little bit with Kareem Jackson going from, like, 86 overall to 82. And then was traded for, I think, a fourth-round pick. Of course, Von Miller regressed, but we have the emergence of incomplete. That was knocked away by Miles Jack. But the emergence of Josie Jewell was amazing. Nazir Jones, William Holloway, Robert Kandichi, Von Miller, Bradley Chubb, Joseph Jewell, Miles Jack, and Kareem Jackson, Tedrick Thompson, Haha -ha Clinton Dix, and Quincy Wilson.
player in motion. They have a lot of speed on this team is what I'm worried about as Brad Bradley. That's Von Miller behind the line of, I think, three yards there. So last year, Noah Fant was on pace for, there we go. There's Philip Dorsett. But last year, Noah Fant was on pace for 1,600 yards. He was the, he kind of had an emergence like George Kittle had a couple years ago, where that you have a either a young quarterback or a rookie quarterback that can't really spread the field very well, and your safe bet is your tight end. Um, and and a, an athletic tight end like Noah Fant is going to get open more times than not. As this was a very bad decision when I had open receivers. But oh well. I think Drew Locke last year, 17 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Need to clean up his mistakes, but I think he's gotten better um, overall. So it's Cortland Sutton dropped that one. And that's going to be a third and out for us. Punt back to Kansas City. I think HaHa Clinton Dix is an upgrade over Justin Simmons, even if the overall doesn't show it. He is maybe not as good as... There's Tyreek Hill, and he is gone. That's a 78-yard touchdown pass. But I think HaHa Clinton Dix, he's better in coverage. I think he's a better tackler. I think he's just better overall. That's HaHa Clinton Dix. One-year deal, I think, 8 mil. So nothing crazy. I think we overpaid him for a year, but it's one year. We'll get the cap back next year. We're not worried about it. Alrighty, Philip Lindsay gets tackled right away. I want to get the running backs involved in the passing game more. Is Emmanuel Hall with a 15-yard reception. I think we need to get the running backs more catches. Because I think they all, besides Royce Freeman, Royce Freeman's a thumper. But I think they could have a good year with that as Philip Lindsay behind the line. As that was a bad decision thrown straight to the linebacker. Not where I wanted to go, but I was getting rushed, and that was should not have been made. Haha, -ha, Clinton Dix with the pass breakup. As Tyreek Hill's injured, I think he got injured last year against us. So that helps us. As Damian Williams looks to be back. As that's intercepted by Miles Jack. Trade picks for picks by the linebackers. His first interception as a Denver Bronco. Philip Lindsay wide open. So that goes for a good amount of yards there. Philip Lindsay tries to break inside. He does. Gets about 10 yards, but there looks to be a penalty. It's a face mask on the defense. Stump bar on the draw. He spins and fights for a couple yards. He gets five extra yards. Brandon McManus, who had, I believe, 35 of 36 or 34, 35. Somewhere around there. Didn't miss an extra point. He had a 63-yard field goal. I think multiple 60-yarders. He was the best kicker in the league last year. So, But let's see what our defense can do here. As Damian Williams gets outside, and that's a 75-yard touchdown run. We even blitzed, but that didn't work at all. We need to keep a nice balance going. Because it's Noah Fant wide open. It's taken down at the 43-yard line after a 33-yard catch and run by him. 
Dunbar makes a move on the defender right there. That was a good move by him. He's becoming one of my favorite players. He just, he feels so fun to play with compared to the other guys. And no one's covering him in the flat. Can't get the first down, but he's very close. And Patrick Mahomes gets the ball back. As it's intercepted by Miles Jack again. Patrick Mahomes did not see him and he just threw it as Miles Jack was backing up into coverage. It's the second interception of the year already. I mean, it's the first game, so yeah. Let's see if they give the Dunbar any more snaps here. Good throw to Deshaun Hamilton. Good route ran by him. These cornerbacks really, I don't think, will be able to keep up with our receiver. Cortland Sutton there with the catch down to the one yard line. That's first down for him. Our leading receiver, probably the best receiver in the league last year, statistically. As Drew Locke rolls out left and he gets in for the touchdown. I don't know what that celebration was, but first touchdown of the year for the Broncos, Andrew Locke, and the kick is up, and it's good. It's a 14-10 game as the Chiefs get the ball back. But I think our offense can score on this defense pretty easily. Um, it's definitely not the greatest. Let's play action. At number 17, I believe that's Miko Hardman. Whoa. Um, against Kareem, uh, not Kareem Jackson, Bryce Callahan. No, Chris Harris. There we go. We've had no pressure this game either. No sacks or anything yet. Good tackle there by Haha Clinton Dix. At least slowed him down until the other two came and helped wrapped up. But we have no sacks yet this game. Tedrick Thompson, good tackle. Our biggest problem was run blocking or run defending the run. And if you take away that 75 yard run by him, he has three rushes for two yards. So I think we're doing a decent job here. As Chris Harris should have picked that off, he jumped the route intended for the tight end. It's going to be third down and eight. That's thrown away. No pressure there at all. Again. We had no really no pressure. And they're going for it? Oh no, okay. The kick is up and it is shanked completely to the right. That's no good. And we get the ball at almost midfield. So maybe we can score here before the before the end of the half and go up by a touchdown. Or at least by Three points here. Good throw on the run to Cortland Sutton as he gets out of bounds. I don't know if that was the right call for him to get out of bounds, but he does. Throw to the outside, fooled the cornerback, single coverage there, and that is Cortland Sutton's first receiving touchdown of the year and hopefully many more of those to come. Our new superstar receiver last year got the development trait boost, and we go up by three points, but Patrick Mahomes has plenty of time to score. As that's Miko Hardman catches that in traffic, that was a very good catch. As Patrick Mahomes rolls right into Von Miller. The kick is up and it's good. So there's still five seconds left, but the chance of us scoring is going to be very low for us. 
as we can't tackle as we finally bring him down. Thank God he did not run that for 70 yards again. So we're chip blocked right away. Chris Harris, he reverses back, so I don't know if he gave, got the first down. No, he gave up the first down and tried to break some tackles. So it's going to be third and inches. As it's Bradley Chubb in the backfield, brings him down behind the line, and it's going to be fourth and four. And they're going to punt. London George back. Maybe he can get something going here. going to be out at the one yard line the two yard line that's a very good punt by the Chiefs there Royce Freeman up the middle gives us some breathing room that's six yards Drew Lock up the middle he gets the first down and slides down he saw that open gap and he ran for it throw Noah Fant wide open again yeah, this strong safety is not covering him very well at all. The kick is up, and hooks right a little bit, comes back left, and it's good. It's a 58-yarder for Brandon McManus. It's 20-17. to 17. Quincy Wilson, good tackle there. Damian Williams almost broke it outside, but good tackle there nonetheless. Miles Jack there with the tackle at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down and five. Let's see what they do here. As Nizier Jones almost got to him. As he gets back up, and that's Bradley Chubb there with the sack. He had almost 10 seconds to throw there. Nizier Jones got chip blocked. Almost got the sack. But that was Bradley Chubb credited. So we'll see. We've gotten some decent pressure here. And this is going to be a returnable punt. Gets about five yards. Good throw, good catch. Again, the cornerbacks really can't cover our wide receivers at all. As Dunbar pushes forward for about seven. It's going to be third down and one here. As Philip Lindsay gets the first down, but that's pretty much it. Everyone was covered there. Drew Locke takes it, runs... Noah Fant with a good block. That's a 28-yard scamper for Drew Locke. We're over 100 rushing yards, but almost half of it is from Drew Locke. We're trying to get this run game going, but it's just not working. Philip Lindsay has had no success. It's up, and it's good. It's going to be a one possession game still. Six points. And we'll see what the Chiefs do. Tedrick Thompson misses Miko Hardman. And they score 50 yards to Miko Hardman. They have too much speed on this team. So we have the best kicker in football. All we have to do is get a touchdown. Or a field goal, actually. My bad. As Dunbar breaks a tackle. He fumbles, but picked up by Cody White here. Quick throw, overthrown, almost picked off. Tried getting it with one hand. But that should have been an easy completion. As that's ne neglected. Deflected. It's going to be fourth down. And it's blocked. 
Okay, game. What? Dunbar up the middle of the field. He gets 14 yards there. He's had the best yards per carry for us. He's had that fumble, that two, those two fumbles, but he's been pretty decent. Philip Dorsett intercepted, and he can't be taken down, so maybe we can hopefully take him down. We still have all three timeouts. That's the second interception thrown. Haha, <laughs> Clinton Dix there behind the line or at the line again as we still have a chance. Rolls out. Corlin Sutton. That's down to the 35 yard line. Ran upfield after Drew Locke scrambled out. Heads up play by him. Went out of bounds as well. Incomplete. That almost could have been picked, it looked like. Just got a hand on it, though. Philip Dorsett down the field. Blown coverage. We got to get the ball to the line. We got to go. We got to go. No time. That sh there was 17 seconds on the clock. I can't believe we lost like that. There was 17 seconds on the clock. We did the no huddle, and it said it took 12 seconds off, and there was one second left. That makes no sense. Well, that's a wonderful picture. Thanks, game. Unfortunately, we lost that game. Close game, four points. We had more passing yards, more yards rushing. It's just they had those two big plays that really screwed us. More takeaways. Unfortunately, we'd go out with a loss, but it's only week one. We have 15 other games to play. We need to get a running game going because Dunbar played well. He had two fumbles, though. Lindsay didn't play very well. Royce Freeman played okay. Noah Fant was good. Of course, Cortland Sutton was good. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.